Hello, welcome back to the part of the week where you, uh, you give me attention. I, of course, am Nathan Dunn, uh, aka Furniture Dude. <laughs> Ever since junior year of college, I have had this one chair that has just haunted me no matter where I go. And here's the thing, I wouldn't mind the chair if I could ever find a place to put it in any of my apartments. So in today's video, we are going to find a home for this chair. What chair exactly? This chair. Can you see it? So before I show you where I can put the chair, let's, let's get a quick tour of my apartment, shall we? I've never actually done an official apartment tour. So, this is my living room. The kitchen, where I shit. The bathroom, that's my shower. I don't have my glasses. So now that we've done that, currently the chair just sort of like sits against the wall and it kind of fucking bothers me every time I see it. I walk into the apartment and I know there is no place for this chair. I fucking hate this chair. Why does this chair exist? It's too far away from the TV, so you can't even see that. There are no tables nearby it that you can set a drink. You just sort of gotta like, just, just sort of crouch and hope for the best. You know, this sucks. This is an awful chair experience. And I, I want to give this chair the proper chair experience. So the first room we're gonna see is the living room. So everything in this room has a purpose. Either it's decorative, or you sit on it. Except for the fucking chair. The one fucking chair. Allow me to show you all my furniture. We have my couch. My love seat. My coffee table. Television with both a PlayStation 2 and a Xbox One that just randomly turns on. And finally, a blanket chair, because I don't have enough space for all these blankets. So now that you have seen my living room, we must find a place for this chair. So let's, let's move some furniture. Just now. Alright, well. It's just too tall. It's far too tall. Did... Who designed this? What the fuck is this? What if I, all right, what if I, uh, right in front of the TV, so I can, like, I can, like, watch, this is, this, okay, all right, um, what, what if I, coffee chair, so let's say you want to bend over and, you know, get a nice cup of coffee. Okay, so maybe the, the living room isn't the best place for a chair, even though that that doesn't add up. Maybe maybe this is a bedroom chair. So so let's let's head into my bedroom where we'll we'll hopefully find a home for this chair. Hello. Welcome to my bedroom. This is where I change my underwear. As you can see, my bedroom is incredibly small and there's not a lot of places to put a chair. So let's, let's find some room for this useless disgrace of a chair. One option I have is I could just take this chair and just put it in the closet and just never think about it again. But the, the problem with that is this chair was a gift and I, I live with the person that gave me this chair. I could always just point the chair towards my bed so strangers could watch me sleep. Actually. Actually, I don't, I don't like, I, I don't like that idea. I don't like what, it, what, what image that puts in my head. <laughs> Excuse me. 
it could be entirely possible that this chair maybe isn't supposed to be sat upon. Maybe, maybe this is kind of like a blanket chair sort of situation, you know? This chair has a, has a use. Let's try some of these ideas. Gaming chair. Drawing chair. Cooking chair. Piss and shit chair. Sex chair. Fluffing pillow chair. Honestly, I've run out of ideas now. Unfortunately, using this chair for any of these tasks made made it all just so much more difficult. So I think we can try using the living room space just like one more time to see if... And just like that, the chair had left. Like a storm in the spring, gone just as fast as it came. I wish I got to say goodbye, however the chair left a note. And the note read as such. Translation. Nathan, I know you would much rather hear this in person, but I had to leave because saying goodbye face to face was a pain I couldn't bear. I've gone home, but I will not forget the memories we shared. And I know not all of it was sunshine and rainbows. But at the end of the day, we were there for each other. We've been through a lot, but maybe that's all we were meant to be. Memories, thoughts from the past, but never plans for the future. Maybe our paths will cross again someday. And in that time, we might find new partners. But know that I will always love you. Goodbye, Nathan. Love you forever always. Chair. I'm sorry. I, I, have, I have to go. time trying to find a place for you in my apartment when the real place was in here. It was always here. Come home, please. Come home. Because I want to spend the rest of my life with you. So please, Nathan, take this chair to be your lawfully wedded furniture. I do. And do you, chair, take Nathan to be your lawfully wedded husband? Then by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and chair. You may sit on the chair. Well, that's all for this video. Uh, if you like what you saw for whatever reason, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, leave a comment on the best place for me to go to therapy. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll see you. Guys, I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go.